Every day, thousands of videos are uploaded to the internet. What drives some people to turn the camera on themselves and reveal so much about their lives? I decided to find out. Welcome to Vlog This. Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and welcome to Green Power Science. Green Power Science is a science website with backyard experiments that stuff that I've dabbled with over the years. We do solar videos where we take concentrated sunlight, have giant magnifying glasses that we make. We have parabolic dishes, which are magnified mirrors. They take sunlight and concentrate it to a very fine focal point. So we can take regular sunlight with a lens not much larger than myself and create temperatures in excess of 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. So we can melt steel, we can boil water. Our initial goal was to put some videos up there and possibly get picked up by a network. Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a large spot Fresnel lens and whether it can be used as a tool for welding. What I'm doing in this video, this is one of the vacuum tubes and I'm showing you how simple that you can distill water. Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I'm gonna be showing you some steam engines running today. Now what's interesting about this video is the fact that they're powered from the sun, from that large Fresnel lens. We vet our videos really well before we release them because um, about 30% of our subscribers are actually universities. They're students going through their master's degree for engineering. And if you say something that's not correct, you kind of come across stupid. So you want to make sure that you get all the fine details. How do you know to do all these things? You know? Well, the, the, I've dabbled with solar stuff for year I, we initially study for it are you self-taught 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 really? yeah like a lot of the consulting i do um they'll ask for a degree or any and and i tell them you i'll give you the information and then you run it by somebody with a degree like uh, one of your engineers and they can sign off on it because i don't tell them i have it you know i don't pretend i have a degree i've always been able to um see things and just kind of figure out how it works tons of tiny droplets there and all you have to do is start swirling it and it'll clear it up and there is a small puddle of water that just came right from the ground you need high humidity this is a two ounce uh, plastic shot glass let's see if I can get all this in there so this made about one ounce, not too bad. I'm gonna give it a taste. Uh, pretty good. Tastes just like distilled water. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. One of the interesting things that happened was a lot of people were concerned about 2012, the end of the world. So the preppers, the people that we're, we don't really consider ourselves preppers at all. We, we prepare for hurricanes. That's our extent of it. But they were really freaking out like the last two years. So a huge part of our business that we do um, was actually picked up by them because they want to be able to cook with the sun in case there's no power, have alternative energy if the grid goes down whatever scenarios they've come up with. That expanded our viewing audience to people who normally wouldn't give care about solar at all. Hello, I'm your host Denise Rojas and welcome to Green Power Science. Today we're gonna to be cooking with a deep dish parabolic mirror, a small frying pan, and an egg recipe passed down from my Italian heritage.
one of the things that people enjoy having me do is solar cooking. And it approaches people from campers to people who are into the science who want to be able to do something that can be outdoors and cook free energy. So I, I put my creativity into that and learned along the way all the different aspects of what we do and I'm still learning most of the time I don't we're always improving everything we do so I rely on Dan with the knowledge I didn't even know what YouTube was I didn't even understand it and then once we started doing the videos I was like oh wow this is really something exciting Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas and welcome to Green Power Science. Today, Dan and I, we're going to be discussing Peltier coolers and thermoelectric generators. Today, we're going to be talking to you about solar refrigeration. In a future video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a regular inverter for a great free option. However, there are some very special qualities to the boiler and mirror array that for now Joe is keeping under wraps. These two enhancements have been producing some very impressive results. You sound like a mouse. <laughs> and the nice thing about YouTube initially was that we didn't have to spend days writing scripts. We, we improv a lot of stuff. I, I can do a video and just, I, I got the next idea and I know where it's going and then I can visualize a whole video in my head. When, she, when Denise is involved with it, she needs, she doesn't, she can't read my mind, you know. So, oh, so, I, <laughs> so it, it can be like, uh, it, it can be stressful sometimes to get both of us working on a video. Hi, I'm your host Denise Rojas and you're going to watch me take a shower. On top of our carport is a very simple system heating 20 gallons of water in one hour completely from the power of the sun. Dan, he thought he could do this all by himself. He needed my help. We're going to show you how to do it. With my master shot of the carport complete and a nice slow zoom shot showing the scale of the project, I was planning on climbing up the ladder and telling you all about jewels and how dark objects absorb sunlight. Needless to say, things did not go exactly as planned. I'm here in sunny Tampa, Florida, and right now it's not that sunny out. Since the solar video gods were not cooperating with me today, I decided to move along to the next step. I placed the first of three sections on the roof with the plan of neatly unrolling them and connecting each section together while still on the rooftop. But this one inch thick poly tube had other ideas. After another 45 minutes of frustrating work, I was successful in getting the hose on the roof. But it was not quite as neat as I envisioned. When we come back, Denise offers some insightful wisdom. Hey Dan, I got the plan. That actually gets the job done. And see the solar hot water heater in action. We met in an acting workshop. My wife, Denise, we met in an acting workshop. We just so happened to be at the same acting workshop, did a scene together, and two months later, we ended up married. We were both into acting at the time. We were both got commercials, and they were national, so we were part of Screen Actors Guild. And we drifted away from that and did some random stuff. We always did things together, inseparable, really. Uh, we learned graphic arts, so we had a graphic arts business for 10 years, and then we did photo restorations for um, the largest photo lab in 
the country. We wanted to do our own graphic art business. Tied into printing, that really wasn't that much fun. But it's all a stepping stone to, you have to do everything to figure out what you really like the most. So we have started doing artwork, just painting, and that, that was another interest. And that's not a high profit thing in Tampa at all. We used to have a gallery here. We used to curate art shows, um, so we are familiar with people um, all over the Tampa Bay area. Um, and so we still have our artwork as it used to be. Once we drifted away from that, when I saw YouTube, we just pretty much burned all the bridges and just went for this to see what happens. It's actually pretty difficult to be married to him because he can go from one thing to another, um, but it's as he's getting older, I'm seeing that he's more structured and maybe that's something I've helped along <laughs> the way. Um, but as far as incorporating our business, um, yeah, this has really been the most exciting thing, but I figure everything that we've done throughout the 23 years has built us to where we're at now. A lot of our friends from Japan emailed us and mentioned that they saw us on Nippon television. When the film crew from Japan came to town, they rented a lot of equipment from local vendors. Our goal was to cook using lights at a great distance. I used several parabolic mirrors arrayed to each light, concentrated to a single focal point. That way, just a hair. Right there. Okay, hope. The crew consisted of 15 people that spent over 10 days in our area. It also included a very famous comedian from Japan. It was time for my film debut. Working an entire week with the film crew from Japan was an absolutely wonderful experience for us. They were very, very nice people, and the time that the production spent here actually helped stimulate the economy a little bit in Florida. Hello, I'm your host, Denise Rojas, and today I'm going to be cooking homemade hot fudge, my mother-in-law's secret recipe, using the power of the sun. Guess who I have here? This is Rosemary Rojas, Dan's mom, my mother-in-law. And I got her out here to supervise and see if I'm doing her, her fudge right. When my mom was 13 years old, her uncle owned a circus. It was the Daily Brothers Circus. It was one of the, like, the second or third largest railroad circus in the nation. She went out for just one summer to, just to see what it was like. I went to visit. My aunt came and got me, and I went to Texas to visit. I, I didn't want to return to school. My cousin wanted me to stay. If I was to be tutored, et cetera, we went through all of that, I could stay and prove myself by that summer. And then we would show my hometown, which was Quincy, Illinois, and they would see how I was doing. Well, we did all of that. And I worked very, very hard. I mean, very hard. Uh, aerial work, elephants, horses, the whole nine. I had to learn it all quick. We showed my hometown and of course my aunt knew the head of the newspaper, so he had everyone out there boosting me pictures all over, you know, to prove to my family so I could stay. And they did let me stay. And I stayed in show business ever since then, up until a few years ago when I had to retire. There was an aerial act called Webb. It's still out, and it's where all the girls go up, a whole production. And they do an aerial act, each one separate. And But you have to have a man under you to boost you up and to hold on to this long rope. They had brought all of the people in from Mexico. Prior to this, my aunt had gone down and booked all these acts. And she came back and showed me this picture. She says, you're gonna fall in love with him. And I can't tell you what I responded about him, <laughs> but I bet her a diamond ring I had, very small, against $100. I had a little confrontation with him in the, right from the get-go because I was determined that I did not like him. Well, they had us all in the backyard of the, big, of the circus in winter quarters, and we were doing the pre-show for everyone. So they appoint someone to hold your web, and they appointed him to me. And I was very cocky, I have to admit, very cocky. And I walked up and I said, do you speak English? And he says, I love you, my darling. I says, 
don't get smart. Do you speak English? He says, I love you, my darling. That's all he knew how to say. And I says, that'll work. <laughs> and so anyhow, he ended up holding my web and all. About the third day out, we're doing a long jump, and I pass through the cars to see all of my friends and that. He asked me to help him with a, a book he was trying to learn English. And you had they had bunks in that. So I'm sitting there, everyone's around us. And I'm trying to explain with my lips how to say one word. He kissed me, and that was he. I ran and gave my diamond ring to my aunt, which she didn't want. And that was how I met my husband. We were married 55 years before I lost him. And it looks good. This is Rosemary's recipe, and she approves, right? Right. Excellent. I'd like to thank my mom. My mother-in-law, Rosemary Rojas. Special guest star. Cheers. And for sharing her wonderful recipe. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. I'm Denise Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy your videos. Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas, and I'm standing in front of what used to be my neighbor's belongings. Everything that he has ever owned was here. Okay, you know, if those fire extinguishers had worked, I could have put it out when it was right here in this corner. On top of this happening to him, he's been unemployed. He spent all of his money fixing up his van to get replace the engine in it. Now he needs to get registration and insurance for it. So we're trying to raise a little bit of money for him, get him back on his feet so he can get back out, and so he can get back out to the workforce. By the way, that sound you hear in the background, our neighbor raises geese back that way so nobody's getting hurt it's just geese what I've done is I've added a PayPal link to our website and it'll be uh, Roland Rocky and CC will be the link for it you can guy if you guys can give a couple bucks that'd be great um, when the link's gone we've accomplished our goal we've got Roland back on his feet Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and we're standing next to Roland Colley, friend and neighbor. He's the one that had the fire that you guys, we did a video and asked for donations, and in 14 hours, you guys surpassed our goal of $375 and got him almost $600, which we're gonna put towards his vehicle to get him back on the road, and also to get his two lovely dogs some veterinarian service, get their annual shots and that sort of thing. Yep, we all got left in the church at different ages, different times. <laughs> to the viewers of Green Power Science, let me extend my deepest and heartfelt thanks for coming to the aid of, of a candle maker. Computer illiterate, didn't have a phone, you know, I'm the ultimate Green Power. Roland uses big 50 gallon drums filled with water to melt some of the wax and in future videos we're going to be getting him a solar option to that. Solar. And uh, The green's going greener. The green's going greener. Hello, I'm Denise Rojas, and you're cooking with Green Power Science. In regards to an update with Roland, right? We got the pleasure of getting him his car back on the road. Denise and I spent an entire couple days. We got to stay at the DMV with him. The candles were so beautiful. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of art involved in what you do. A lot of people are interested in seeing your you get art and science. So this is the surviving candle. And this one over here is the first one I made without the right chemical and five colors. Okay, oh, oh wow, look at that. This is just an earth tone. 
Thanks. Thank you very much, everyone who has helped me. You can see the slab is cleaned up. You can see that we've got a barrel on and new molds. And as soon as I get some titanium dioxide, I'll be back in business, hopefully in time for Valentine's Day. Christmas has slipped away. As the channel progressed and we were getting the subscribers, it went from just trying to get a show on uh, one of the major networks to sharing information and to helping people. We sell solar products. Th that's where we make our income from. But we show videos on how people can do it themselves without spending money. Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And today I'm going to be talking to you about making your own solar panels. It's kind of counter productive for our business, but it gives them the opportunity. Somebody in a developing nation might need to cook. They've got all the sunlight in the world. They're blasted with it all day long. They're scrounging around for firewood to cook with when they could just put a $4 item together and they could have enough energy to cook for weeks on end. So just kids taking showers. They, they, they might have water in a place in South America, but the water's 60 degrees because it's deep well water. They don't want to take a 60 degree shower. So they don't have hygiene by just simply running black water hose in the sun. They have hot water now. You know, it, it's, it, it sounds incredibly simple, but nobody's really put the ideas together to show people how easy it is. And that's that's what we did. Everything we do on our channel with the is, is open source. So if I come up with an idea and I show it, it's not patented. And the, the patent process pretty much puts an idea on hold for three years. So if we patented it, everything, we might have a lot more money, but the ideas wouldn't be out there. There wouldn't be that sharing of information. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.